Oh man, that's always so loud. It's a good sound. That is always that theme song so going. Loud. I know, yeah, man. I know. Rip it. Hold on. I have to make sure I don't copy the outro one. <laughs> but I, I feel like uh, I feel like you got to get this set up beforehand. Yeah, huh? John. <laughs> I feel it's like this always you, bro. this always takes like a, a second. There we go. <laughs> you want it to take a second. Welcome to the Fly You Fools podcast. The podcast that talks a little about J.R.R. Tolkien and his work, and a lot about everything else. Enjoy this time with your fellow fools, Tips K, Jacob, and Cooper. Thank you for listening. God, just wonderful. Wow. That is so Compare, good. Comparing that man good. to Elijah Hood at the outro. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a stark I mean, difference. <laughs> yeah, man. But the whole, the whole outro is different. Like, it's not as yeah. cheery and, like happy so, and all that stuff i was thinking that maybe we can get elijah hood on the cast i mean <laughs> yeah but the problem is we're just not ready for it we I might get we him on. <laughs> I, I think we would step up i think we definitely are no man i don't know i feel i i don't feel too embarrassed if i it's just weird i feel like he's in a really bad spot right now you know like he just lost his job yeah, that, that is so it's good timing. <laughs> no, so it's weirdly like good timing. Like he would do it. I bet if I bet if he said he'd probably be like, "Yo, throw me like five hundred bucks." <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not for that, but Maybe for free, <laughs> just for fun, you know. Yeah. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. See what's up. <laughs> good questions. Yeah, yeah. I'll do. It. That seems like a great idea, actually. Okay, so <laughs> when I I'll. What I'm gonna do is follow him on Instagram, and then uh, I'll do, I'll send him a DM. Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's just do it. The, I mean, the ten account, ten, of, ten he, followers, just to hang out. Come on, but then after that, we would just be like, <laughs> "Yeah, John keeps uh, uh, Hey, yeah, what yeah, do you like that. about Lord of the <laughs> Rings? <laughs> yeah, so I can't even hear what he's saying. I know I can't hear a word John's saying. Yeah. Oh, dude, <laughs> just, I, I can't hear you guys at all. Total cut out. <laughs> but regardless. Fuck. Regardless. I know. Slaughterhouse God Five. Back half oh. of the book. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, man. Remember that? Yeah. Just as weird as the first half. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you guys think? I liked it. I mean, I don't know. So like I, I liked didn't it. love it though. I I I'm with that. Jacob. I yeah. was like I and I think like I know why, and I wrote like a bunch of stuff down about it because like I was trying to explain why I didn't really like it. Because it's uh -huh. not like the fact that like it's a non-linear thing. Yeah. But like I think my big problem with it is like Billy has zippity zero motivation, and he's just like a leaf in the wind, and that's like inherently boring for me. Yeah, right. Like his, that his... is the point. But yeah, yeah, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, and it's just like like all the other characters, like when we're talking about the book, we're almost never gonna talk about like what Billy's doing. We're gonna talk about the people around him. Like the mob yeah. guy, the crazy torture dude who has like the pony and like how that Shetland pony, like all that stuff is great. It's just like Billy sucks. Like as per and like I know that's like you're right, you could be like that's the point. It's like he sucks. But, like, I don't get enough time with the other characters to really, like, latch in there. Like, in The Great Gatsby, that character sucks. Like, I can't Nick Carraway, whatever. Uh -huh. But Gatsby's super cool. So you stick around for Gatsby. This, it bounces around so much that it loses my interest. I see what you mean. But it is just all about, like, the surrounding scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is, yeah. It's, it's like, like, I don't like this type of movie way. in a weird way. It's like, it's not like it's bad. Mean. It's just like not for me. Well, and John, <clears throat> big news for you. Yeah. Sorry, there is a Slaughterhouse Five movie. We'll, we'll get into it. And so, no, oh. here's something that I love. Is so I didn't. I was struggling with the book and like what to think about it, and like all this other shit until the end of the book on tape ended for me. And then it has Kurt Vonnegut audio in an interview talking about the book. Yeah, that was dope. And how it, it did the, the the book with the music. Yeah, yeah, and then that, that was that really cool. So cool. Loved the end and loved hearing him talk about it and him being like, I don't know. I think this story is going to get old. Like, I don't think people are going to be able to 
grasp onto it in like three or four generations. And I was like, ah, shit, that's exactly what I said earlier. And I was like, that's just funny. Like, I think I thought that was really funny. And just hearing him talk about the war, like that made me weirdly appreciate it all a lot yeah. more. Yeah, when he like comes in. Is when it, yeah, when he takes his own personal voice. And it also made me think, because he kind of sounds like a real big dick when he's talking about himself in like the beginning of the book yeah and like he just... does jump to what he thinks a lot but it's like i don't know when you when you realize oh he's actually like a really sweet dude yeah he's just going at it you know no define going at it in this sense jacob he's just like doing whatever he wants to do with like the book you know <laughs> yeah just throwing like, it all at the wall like, and see what you know sticks. What I'm like, <laughs> strange, you know what I mean? Like, fr- strange way to like, phrase that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's not really that. writing it for you. It's for like him too. You know? No, I mean it's, it's like, true, and it's nice. I mean, I don't know. I don't. Again, I didn't. I I didn't hate it. I like the second half of the book way more. I think the last scene makes no sense, but that's kind of the point. Uh huh. And I think. um like it, it just it's not something that I would ever be like, yeah, it's really something I really want to read again. It's kind of like a book you read in class and you might not necessarily enjoy, but you're like, that was really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that was like a good quality. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, just well it's done. like uh, like a weird art house film where you're like, that was well done and I liked it. But like, I wouldn't want to watch that with the boys and quote it. Mm-hmm. Whereas then that's like how I feel about Lord of the Rings. Now. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so it's like mainly anti-war, but, um, Billy has mad PTSD. Right. Yeah. And that's kind of like, and that that's like how you would kind of weirdly explain it. And I mean, I think the big thing is that there's like, I don't know if you guys have seen Band of Brothers, but no. there's a scene where like this one soldier kind of like gives up like on just like living and shit within the war. And like he's like, all right, you're only gonna become a good soldier whenever you realize like you were dead the second you hit Europe, and you think you're still alive and you're trying to be like saving your own life. But he's like, you don't realize you died on the beach. And he's like, whoa. And so he just kind of proceeds through. And naturally, what I love about Band of Brothers is this dude gets shot right in the skull. Yeah, he's like, just... I'll go out there first and leads the charge, and in- instantly, instantly, instantly takes it. <laughs> right in the fucking uh-huh. skull and it's just fucking like hilarious terms. yeah i mean it's great and i think that was kind of how billy was and i mean i don't know it's a weird i would like to read i'm interested more in his other books because uh, now i've read that and if I, the other ones are a little more like i, I don't know if they're exactly the same but have so you guys I, read i've read two ones? of them i've read cat's cradles and signs of titan and I actually, this one was kind of like Sirens of Titan in a lot of way to me. I actually didn't like that one quite as much, but Cat's Cradle, I really liked. That was Cat's actually, Cradle, you really yeah, like? Cat's Cradle. It's like this book, but just, it's just, I think it's just better. It's definitely more, it's like actually even a little bit shorter. And it's just, uh, I mean, I love being able to like hammer them out. It's like a story, yeah. Yeah, and it was, I mean, it was a good, it was a good it's read. Like, like I'm weird. glad it's I did like, it. Yeah, and the way he like, the way he writes is just really strange, you know? It's just kind of like, it's just hard to, like, figure out. It's, like, very satirical, but. Yeah, and I think, the, I think the book gets also, like, when you guys were talking about earlier, like, it gets a lot funnier right. in the second half, too. Yeah. Like, I appreciated more of, like, the absurdity of some of the situations yeah, the yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. behind you kinda, it. You kind of just, like, gets, get what's going on, and you're like, all right. Yeah. You kind of just accept it, you know? Yeah. What yeah. Doing? But no, and then they talk about the movie. Cooper, did you watch the movie? No, not yet. I wanted to uh, this week. <laughs> Who's in the movie? When was it made? I don't know. I think, uh, I think in the 70s. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's old. old. Jeez, I bet it's really bad. <laughs> How could it be good? I don't know, but I really I mean, want to watch it. Some movies in the <laughs> 70s are made and are, are good. Got to give it a chance, I suppose. 1972. Who is in it? Joy, George Roy Hill. What else did he direct? 
Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid slap shot. Those are like those pretty some pretty movies. good movies, man. Yeah. yeah. The Sounds first good. little drummer girl. Yeah, no, I mean that's like I mean it could it wouldn't be bad, probably. It yeah. would not be bad. Yeah, how, about, how about you watch it, Cooper, and then uh <laughs> that's how that goes. Well, the thing is we also needed to come up with something to do for next week. And I was I was thinking we could do another competition to pick the books. Uh huh. Okay. But the problem is, is that I just want to post really dank memes, and I only have really dank memes to post right now. <laughs> so I was thinking we can do a drawing competition and okay. post it on like Reddit and see how many outposts we get. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're okay. both really, really bad at drawing. So oh, all, all right, with three this. of us, <laughs> and we're just gonna have to in like. Bonus points for any way. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to say mine was like, hey, my retarded nephew. Like, it's got to be, it's got to be funny for sure. <laughs> Made this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it would be yeah, beautiful. Pretend to be a kid. Yeah. What are we drawing, though? No, uh, anything. Well, that's I my thing. No, like, I think we had to draw the same thing. Like, what? I don't know. But I think we all had to draw like the same thing or idea or concept. Oh, okay. I don't care. But with, with slightly I, different, uh, what, however we interpret it. Yeah. <laughs> we should each draw one of the hobbits. <laughs> and just okay. post them on like the <laughs> not the meme subreddit, but like the actual Lord of the Rings subreddit. Yeah. And it. just be like, hey, I posted I made I made this. <laughs> and see <laughs> uh, what the fuck, buddy. <laughs> I think it would be perfect. <laughs> All right, I'm down for it. Yeah, Come on, let me make sure. And we each pick one because we all can't post the same thing, or else they're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do they allow media posts? For sure. Even, even no, they might not. Some main uh fan fandoms don't allow, or they don't allow like direct posts. You have to make a flare. Oh no! The the, the the top two pictures right now are just beautiful fan art. All oh, all three of them are. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be us. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just gonna be like. <laughs> gotta go for it. Oh man, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think that's a great idea. Um. But then the thing is, we also would ha- we would have to pick uh, new books. Yeah, and I'm down to. But again, like I, I'm, I'm fine with the competition thing, and I'm down to put mine as the two towers. If none of you guys do, yours is the two towers. Yeah. Oh, your vote. That would be my book. Yeah, that that's fine. Yeah, let's do it. No, well. Jacob, you seem kind of tired and out of it. You, you seem to not really know what's going on here. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> yeah, tired and out of it is how I would <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> I mean, like, more so than usual. <laughs> I was actually kind of not paying attention, trying to do something on my computer. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to download some video games, dude, because I got this new, uh, I bought this laptop on Craigslist. <laughs> dude, I thought you yeah. bought a laptop like two years ago. <laughs> I bought one like a like few a months ago, dude. <laughs> and I bought another one off Craigslist. Why? <laughs> because it was just so I can play video games on it. How, how many laptops do you have now? <laughs> I have two. <laughs> but don't you also have a desktop? Yeah. You got three computers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, are they all in your room or what? <laughs> well, right now, I just have two. Oh. This one's pretty good though, dude. It's uh, I got it for four hundred bucks, and it's just like really big, and you just play video games. Pretty pumped. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, it's it it's a uh, it's a good purchase, man. I would I would yeah, be happy with it. Real. Yeah, and my I work. Think, I think. Oh. Two computers, I think three computers, honestly. Um, I have three computers, but one of them is a Surface. Uh-huh. So it's also more like a tablet. What do you think about that, Cooper? That's too bad. Too many? IPad. Huh? Nah, iPads too bad are for not... sucker. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I see two huh? two computers might be nice. I my work is given away one. I'm thinking about taking it just for World of Warcraft, but I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, see now you're thinking about it. <laughs> no, I, I, I have yeah, been thinking dude. about it for a while. <laughs> okay, yeah. maybe, maybe I know somebody who I can sell this computer to when I'm done with it before I, when I leave. <laughs> That's actually a fucking great idea. I will actually um, be back in uh be back in Virginia though. No, that's good. Probably this month, yeah. Probably nice. Be for a while. Um, shit. Fuck. I was gonna say something. Ah, it's gone. It's gone. Multiple Damn computers. it. Oh no, yeah. Have you seen the new iPads? No. Dude, it's wow, just dude. a Surface. Oh yeah, it's like it's just a like Surface. A yeah. No, so they put it. They, they now it comes with the case. Uh -huh. The case props it up, so you can use um what's it called a pen on it and mm -hmm. it has a keyboard attached to the case like it, and they say it's no longer a computer or it's no longer an like a tablet it is a computer because it runs the native version of mac os just like a surface just like a surface it's it's mm. bs man yeah look at this thing i'm posting a picture of it because it i don't know i know you guys don't care but i, I care just a little bit sounds pretty nice though you know right. oh no it's probably so nice dude Apple products are so nice. When you get them new at the box, whew, so they are good. really, they are really yeah. nice. so smooth. There's nothing. I mean, I hate on Apple, but damn it, they're sexy. Like yeah. the way they they function and just how everything's so simple and easy. Yeah, yeah, it has a good. It's a good product. Yeah, and it's like the only people that like don't just give up all their info to the FBI instantly. Yeah, because <laughs> they're like, "Fuck you, no." That is uh, true. A newest iPad. What so should Cooper, I get my if, mom for her birthday? Cooper, what have you even been doing at work? Um, we're like reaching out to members. We're talking with members. I'm uh, doing some um, programming and things like that. Um, yeah, programming. Some of the the boot camp style classes that we have. Oh, I um, see. And I'm doing some write ups for those. So I do that a lot. Just going like way ahead. And like uh, yesterday, I posted a video of myself um, jerking off, eating a large head of broccoli, of raw broccoli. And I'm like forcing it down because it was like one of our challenges. People like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go, dude. A lot of broccoli. Yeah. It was Can a I big head of broccoli. Yeah. I mean, it's on. Hmm, how do I? Let's see. Can you send that to me. <laughs> how many tennis um, balls? You can download it. <laughs> um, dude. Is it not on the Instagram? No, it's uh, oh, um, it might be on the Instagram. I it was large, and she was supposed to upload it to Instagram. I'm not sure. If, hold on, let me check the Instagram real quick. But um, I'll get it to you guys by the end of this episode for sure. Uh, um, so, but yeah, so doing that and like uh, just okay. working out a lot. I gained like 15 pounds. I'm bulking. Just eating a lot, huh? I'm, I'm eating <laughs> so good. much, dude. I'm 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 fucking thick. You know. Just eating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like 190, 192. Okay, yeah. It's like the most I've ever weighed. Nice. Mm -hmm. I, on the other hand, have been losing weight. What? Ooh, 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 yeah. Sean. Right. How I dare know, you? Dude. I know. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like I don't look like a stone retard when I run now. <laughs> yes. I look just like a retard. Like, I mean, it's so. <laughs> like, my, I'm like, ooh, look at me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I actually look like someone who might. No, nah, I'd still run die. more than once a work. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know. Cuz I just have no there's no reason to really run in life anymore. It doesn't come up. I don't know. Just yeah, like, you know what I mean? Exactly. It doesn't come up. <laughs> yeah, it should though. Like sure you can just be in the office and just run. Yeah, it shouldn't it should be way more acceptable. It's just, yeah, it's just faster. It's like three <laughs> times as fast. It's like a character in a video game just zipping around everyone else. You're constantly out of breath, just like fuck. <laughs> really sweaty. <laughs> but I'm here first for that meeting, right? <laughs> like, like, yeah, now you gotta wait. <laughs> You know, someone I'm, like does that or like power walks like really yeah. hard. Just like oh, yeah. sneakers everywhere, just like running shoes. Just yeah, like, just to be first. Ready to go. In a suit, running shoes. It's just. Dude, I, I diverted to that. Like, I, you know, I didn't 
wear running shoes, but I basically went down from like nice yeah. shoes to like slip on shoes that I would wear every day because they were more comfortable and they're kind of like shitty. And like, yeah, I would run sometimes like in the office. Yeah, that's Just why he up. left. <laughs> <laughs> Back when, when I really started to not give a fuck. <laughs> Just get a little, get a little I'm going to the Olympics. Yeah. Like kind of like going a little faster than necessary. <laughs> Maybe like jump over a chair or two. It happened. I guess now you are just wearing sneakers every day, though. I know it's awesome, dude. Yeah. Shorts and sneakers, it's the best uniform. Dude, comfortable shoes are just by far the biggest thing, man. And it, 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 absolutely, you're correct. Yes, yeah. yeah. You can't go to work every day wearing those freaking things that you just don't feel good. You just can't. Yeah. Thank God I'm a fucking straight white male, and I'll never have to put on a pair of heels in my life. Mm-hmm. It's wow. So stupid. So yeah, heel, stupid. So um, heels are really bad for you. They just yeah, not man. only are they horribly uncomfortable, but they are so bad for you in the long run. It's like yeah. binding your feet, like so. in mm-hmm. uh, ancient China. Like it's mm-hmm. so bad, and you don't realize it's not just that your foot gets deformed, but it just affects the way that um, your foot, your lower leg, and even your upper leg and your hips perform and just can move correctly. And you're just moving incorrectly the rest of your life, so you end up getting imbalances and you get injured and things like that it's all and it's all just because of bad shoes really that so being said though yeah i mean if you wear them a lot it will fuck you up hard mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but at the same time i respect the shit out of a woman way more when she's wearing heels why not respect her more but <laughs> I, think, uh, I think i do <laughs> I, think I, res- I think i respect her more <laughs> you know like if it was if you're like a politician and you're wearing like a pantsuit and you weren't wearing heels versus one that was, I'd be like, the heels girl wins that fight. Because she's tough, man. She's wearing fucking heels. I mean, I don't know. She's going to be off balance if they get in an actual fight. <laughs> well, no, she'll take them off and puncture their eyes. That's the first thing I would do with the heel. Oh, true. Sure. It's, it's you know that happen, has yeah. to have happened, man. Yeah. Someone has to have driven one of those increase heels. Your, increase your mobility at the same time, gaining weapon. Maybe yeah, that's man. That's, exactly, <laughs> that's why they're called stiletto heels. Yeah, just like a. Because they're literally just knives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, I guess. <laughs> no, that's yeah, that no. I be? guess it's pretty commonly known. If you Wikipedia heels, that's the yeah, story that's that plays out. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Florida woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they used to just walk around on knives until they decided to make them fashionable. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> She's a witch. <laughs> The witch what trials. A what a crazy. Seven. The Salem witch trials. Uh huh. What a what a crazy thing. Crazy old McCarthyism. I can't believe they used to burn people. They just would. Yeah, they were just going for it. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, it's just so fucking metal. Like burning someone, you really gotta hate that person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, no, it takes more brutal. a shit ton of work too. You got to chop all that wood, get the yeah, fire yeah, like going. Really, like, yeah. it's got to be a nice big blaze or else. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's kind of weird. It's got to be at least kind of quick. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you're not a savage, but God. Oh, my God. Yeah. They used to really burn the shit out of people, too. Like, it used to be like a common thing. Yeah. Like, you, you had at least like seen that once in your life. <laughs> yeah, for sure. People should be like, yeah. Like 1800s or something. Yeah. Like, but you know, she was a Protestant, so <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> it just makes sense, dude. I, it's so crazy. I fucking can't believe like Christian religions used to fucking hate each other. Even now, even now, like yeah. I can't stand like the idea that like cat like Catholics and like Protestants are like different. It's like no, nah, like not really. Like you're really splitting hairs here. You're worshiping the same Jesus, dude. There's just no Pope involved. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the same thing. Yeah. It's, it's all... like coming up with a different name for vegetarian and being like, yeah, I'm a plantarian. But dude, I'm I think I bet the vegetarians and the and the um the uh the vegans really hate each other too. It's like that. Dude, I I mean the thing is, like, I have to imagine they're <laughs> they hate each other. Yeah, they hate each other. Because I would be so pissed. Total hatred. It, it, I, you're you're I'm right, Cooper. Cool. Mm-hmm. No, I'd be fuming really? because if I was vegan, like, the 
the real hard part about going vegan is the eggs and the milk. And yeah, vegetarians is huge. Like vegetarians can eat cheese. Yeah. Like yeah, that's, that's, that's such a big thing. Like they can have yeah. like sweet ice cream. And when they're yeah. hungry in the breakfast, they can eat eggs and sure they can get like, they can get some sort of bullshit veggie sausage thing that has enough maple syrup in it to taste like a real sausage. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, they're basically just like very healthy people, but vegans are the ones who are like, and I don't even get it because like that egg happens either way. Like that chicken's yeah. just fucking laying eggs. That's true. Like we kind of fucked it up to the point where, yeah, they're bred that way and they have way more. Yeah, <laughs> it's not still... great. But it means they're just egg. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. if I could so eat bad. poop, I wouldn't waste poop. Yeah, I'd be eating yeah. poop all day long. Yeah. Wait, um, I zoned out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure where the poop eating <laughs> argument fits into all this. I'm saying vegans should eat their own poop, if not, so not to waste uh, animal matter. That, I think that makes vegans sense. should eat shit. Yeah, <laughs> vegans should eat shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> makes sense to me. It makes sense. <laughs> but it's like sheep wool too. Like some vegans won't wear wool, and it's like. We got to shave wool off the sheep or they're going to die. And yeah, yeah did we fuck oh, them geologically? Really? Like that? Yeah. You didn't, you've never seen that, Cooper? No. There's pictures of it. Like when sheep go in the wild, non-mountain ass sheep, like the wool sheep that we keep around, mm -hmm. they get so tangled that they like either get stuck and suffocate and die or they just su like they collapse because the wool weighs so much and it like gets heavy and, like they wow. so like, they've been like crazy. artificially bred to be able to have that much wool yeah i mean we've we've really time. fucked it yeah that's real death mm. on that sheer sucks, sheep man. death dude yeah <laughs> not good for the sheep <laughs> Unherded sheep so woolly he sheep. nearly died. Chris. There's a Wikipedia just called Chris. And then parentheses it says sheep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope it died from being unsheared. That's a kind of a weird thing to say, but I don't know. That that just happens now. Like you, when you see him, like I don't know. We fucked it. So why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you just yeah. shear him? You know what's crazy? Mm. Apparently, the most ethical way to like, rem like to uh, castrate a uh, goat, or it was either like a goat or a deer, but I watched some Swedish people do it with their teeth, and that was crazy. With their teeth? Yeah, they bit their nuts off. I'm Googling <laughs> it right seen, now. Have you guys seen the movie Midsummer? Yeah, I have. Seen? It reminds me of that. <laughs> that movie is so weird, man. It is a weird one. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> what a what a what a weird situation to be in. The the opening premise of it, where it's like she gets raped, but you're the boyfriend, and you're like, ah, oh, shit, I was about to break up with this girl. Yeah, and then this happens. Good movie. You just can't. Yeah, no, good movie. I love. I mean, that girl, the woman that played it, uh. Mm -hmm. Florence Puh, she's the best. She's going to be so much huger than she is right now. She's already going to be the next Black Widow. Oh, right. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was in Little Drummer Girl. She was in Little Woman that just came out and did well. She's on a tear through Hollywood. And it oh, is yeah. cool. I like Florence Puh. Puh. Florence Puh? Puh? Flor Florence Puh. <laughs> Her name is Puh. P-U-G-H. Puh. I think I think it pew. No, it's puh. Well, when I meet her, I'll ask her. I'll say, "Hello, Florence." You can we have her on the. Can yeah, we, we have her on the cast? Her? Yeah. I guess I'll totally do that, man. I'll send that woman an invitation. Be like, "Hey, mm -hmm. I know you're not doing anything because like <laughs> it's a fucking quarantine." So like, <laughs> I mean, now is the time when you get anyone. Yeah, it's true. People are. Have you guys seen all like the fucking weird at home night shows and like the Saturday Night Live stuff and all that? No, it's weird, man. They're just they're just <laughs> keeping those shows going like without an audience. 
No, they're from from their homes without an audience. Mm. It's like spending the entire night with Jimmy Fallon in his house with nothing else going. Hmm. That doesn't and sound good. No, it doesn't, right. it's not good at all. It's weird. It's fucking really weird. And like mm-hmm. they did Saturday Night Live live and Tom Hanks did the monologue in his kitchen. And it's like weird. <laughs> And then, like, they tried to do some live skits, like, using, like, the web chat format as skits. But, okay, like, yeah. get, but it, like, didn't work at all. And then in between that is what they should be doing is just letting all the SNL talent create digital shorts to put up every week. Mm-hmm. With their boys and shit and just fucking. And that's that. And then just have them upload and be like, this is fucking pete davidson's and it's actually good and then there's this is fucking i don't know man whoever else is on snl these days michael che is and it sucks even though i like michael che but yeah I don't <laughs> oh know, I john what was that one show we watched in um in a uh, in a uh, vermont i think you should leave now <laughs> yeah i want to watch that again right? tim robinson so funny mm-hmm. there's another no, actually, have you not seen them all jacob no, I haven't seen them all. I have something else I want to I want to send to you guys. All right, send it. It's a really funny video. But no, uh, Tim Robinson has an episode of a sketch sketch show called The Characters Cooper. Mm-hmm. That's just the exact same thing as I think you should leave now. But um, there's only one episode of it, and it's like plugged away within that like weird show. It's basically they let a bunch of comedians make their own show for one episode, one one sketch show. Mm-hmm. And so he gets to make his own, and it's fucking hilarious. One of the funniest. Fun, I think it's... The quality of the sketches in it probably are fucking funnier than I think you should leave now. Okay. Okay. Um. So, since Vermont, speaking of Vermont, I've been thinking about the prequels a lot. And just, oh, yeah? like, what a large effect... You know, just how good they are, really. Did you not see they're my so meme? so entertaining. And they're so good. They're just epic. They're not good. They are good. Mm. <laughs> they're not, but like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's just not, not that good. But, but and I think here's the real problem, is that outside of having probably one of the dopest premises around, the original Star Wars is, aren't that amazing. Uh, like episodes four, five, and fucking six. Yeah, I mean the prequels are way better. Mm-hmm. Agreed. <laughs> they're just, I they're don't just better. They're just more fun to watch. They are more fun to watch, but I don't think they're better. Maybe not better, but they're more fun to watch. Definitely more fun to watch because even half the time you spend making fun of it. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> fucking Anakin is just so cringy. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so obviously crazy. the Jedi it's betrayed so me. <laughs> it's so man, the dialogue room is just so bad. Yeah, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. You're it's like, like what? what the fuck? <laughs> like that's just <laughs> oh my god! It's and it's so bad. Like you killed her. It's like no, you like you didn't. You uh, you didn't. You can check her pulse right now, and you'd find out she's still alive. Like. <laughs> I don't know. It's so fucking dumb. So dumb. But they are fun. Really good, too. Yeah. Definitely really good. (laughs) Yeah. Right? Just great films. I'm trying to send you guys this this guy, uh, Connor O'Malley. I know who Connor O'Malley is. He's got some really funny... I know Cooper's going to love... Cooper's going to love this. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to send you guys this video meeting broccoli too. There we go. Just had to videos, zip. videos, videos. Had to had to zip it because it's so big. It's like 18 minutes long. Fuck! It's still too big. Sorry, you guys can't see it. Tam. Yeah, it's on a private Facebook page. I downloaded it, but I can't send it to you guys. Hmm. Well, oh, pretty, dude! How much broccoli did you eat? A lot. <laughs> like, how much broccoli? Like, um, broccoli? like the did side. Did it fuck you up? Uh, like for like, yeah, for like fifteen hours, it didn't feel great. 
Really? For like 15 hours. It wasn't like oh, that know. bad, but it was pretty uncomfortable That's that night and then the next morning as well. Maybe I'll, I'll, hmm, I'll get email to you guys. Do you want me to do that? That's the only way. Yo, Cooper, also I just saw those books you sent. I see you got Cat's Cradle. You should read that. Yeah, dude. I just randomly found them. Where? Just in your place? Yeah, in my bookshelf. Nice. I was like, oh, okay. Um, what's your guys is hold on. Um, yeah. What's our what? Uh, it, it's sending you a Google Drive link. This video is huge. <laughs> How long is it? How long are you getting broccoli? It's like eighteen minutes. It's like I was eating it for fifteen minutes, dude. It was difficult. How, how much broccoli? Hey, you... A good bro, amount. Jeez. Like, if you'd be surprised when you're eating one of one, like okay, a what lot are you eating? Of one substance, like <laughs> it just it's so bad. That's little dude. Yeah, little dude. And then, um, like I'll never forget the Wait, day that I fucking chugged. Um, is it little dude zero? Yeah, yeah. And then Jacob, what's yours? Don't you just don't you just have mine? Type my name. Jacob A. I have your VT email, that's it. Do that one. <laughs> uh, do you check that? Yeah, I got it. Why do you check your Virginia Tech email? I don't really check it. I have it though. Alright. Alright, I sent it to you guys. Sorry, John, go ahead. Um <laughs> I said you should just send it to him, but then I also forgot about what we were talking. Oh no, I never forget the day that I chugged, uh, or didn't chug. I chugged one, but uh, three, eight, three cans of spaghettios in an hour. That sucked. <laughs> uh, what was the point of that? Just uh, self hatred. Make ten bucks. Make ten bucks. I was pretty drunk, and <laughs> my I had three cans of spaghettios because they were three for five dollars. And <laughs> the guy was like, hey, I'll give you $15 if you eat all three cans of SpaghettiOs in an hour. And I said, done. And so I fucking <laughs> did it because I was like. It's so much liquid, so much liquid spaghetti. It, it's, it's so much everything. And like, <laughs> at first I tried eating good. one up, but like it took a long time to heat up, like 10 minutes. And I was like, I'm burning time here. So I had to just drink one and then heated another one up and then just said i was gonna chug the last one but i couldn't do it so i ended up nursing it for like i don't know 30 minutes but before i finally got it down just in time and then i just felt so bad afterwards like for the rest of the night i was like oh, i should not have done that and my friend was like yeah i'll actually give you 15 dollars because you just ate fucking three cans of spaghettios i think it's i don't care that must have been real bad Oh, I mean, it was a thing, man. Salt. And they were, yeah. the, they were like the big cans. I like there's like a spaghetti oh. can is not your average soup can size. It's a little wider. Yeah, they're a little, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're a little chunkier. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, and I was just down on them down, and it was so bad, man. It's He's like drinking fucking, cold spaghetti <laughs> out of a fucking mug. It was so bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like spooning. Like, this is yep. not like a serious situation. This is just no. There was a good night though. I made a ramp down of, of snow down the back steps of a porch, and I went off it with my snowboard, and it was fucking rad. Oh, How nice. old were you during all of this? I was twenty-one. Okay, <laughs> this was pretty recently. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just out of curiosity. But yeah, no, I mean, and I'm. I won't apologize for it. I, I, I was good. It, it was a good decision. Um, it's kind of <laughs> like that, that that fucking thing in Trailer Park Boys where it's like, yeah, I ate all the ravioli. I mean, I'm drunk and high and I ate nine cans of ravioli and no one wants to admit that they ate nine <laughs> cans of ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> but three cans I'm happy with. Three cans I can do. You know, that's not awful. There are worse yeah. things. Uh, there's a couple worse things. You know what's fucking funny is that they say on the SpaghettiOs label, a good source of calcium. And I have yet to fucking find out what in that like <laughs> provides <calcium>. the calcium. <laughs> like, I guess it's just cream in the tomato soup, but it is just nothing but tomato soup and freaking pasta uh -huh. that is already cooked and basically mush. 
if you eat it cold. Oh man, so you good. I want some spaghettios chance. right now. Yeah, but one of them was hot, so it was cool. That helps. Yeah, yo, have you guys heard of or all the the crazy stuff Virginia's doing? Um, what do you mean? Decriminalizing marijuana. Oh ca- yeah. Um, banning like. I don't. I'm, I don't know about the gun law. I don't know if you know more about that one, Jacob. But they passed some crazy strict gun law, and then um, they also passed a fifty dollar cap on insulin for diabetics. So like, you like, there's it's only ever going to cost fifty dollars, which I think is fucking so rad. And I don't know. They just Virginia's just been going. We're a big yeah. old hippie state now. We're basically yeah. Maryland. Cool. Which is weird. That. I think a lot. No. I, think, I think some of the gun laws they had though didn't go into effect. I know they passed some, but they actually didn't end up like. Well, and so it's so crazy because like um, it's it's basically every so in Richmond, it went through sure and went through, yeah. and Fairfax County, Arlington, and Alexandria, and then Virginia. Basically, every large city passed yeah. the gun laws. Uh-huh. But then every other county outside of the cities declared themselves like a gun law haven. I think it was something like out of 29 counties in Virginia, 21 of them are havens for the gun law. Yeah. But that's what made me realize it was a pretty strict gun law. Yeah, it was. I'm not surprised that a bunch of those counties wouldn't like enforce it. Yeah. I mean, because we're Virgi- we love our guns, man. Fucking yeah. A. Definitely, Ooh. definitely into it there, especially the people outside the cities. Yeah, man, for sure. Well, I mean, even in the cities, I know yeah. so many people that are just fucking. I don't know. They would shoot up anything at any time. <coughs> Some gun nuts are just crazy. You're like, don't tuck it into your pants, man. Get a holster. You want the holster. The holster is what makes it cool. Mm, tucking it into your pants is pretty cool, though. Pretty gangster. It depends on the, it depends so on the pants. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm worried about burst. shooting my giblets on. <laughs> Black Black to... burst. Yeah, he shot himself in the foot. <laughs> yeah, wow. man. That's in the NFL. So stupid. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was kind of funny. <laughs> so pissed. Yeah. Oh my god, he'd be like, "You just you fuck." <laughs> yeah, there. I wouldn't even fucking know what to say. Did you guys see that uh, NASCAR driver that ended his career in five minutes by saying the N word live? Is that what he said? I, I saw the headline. I didn't actually click on it. Yo, he it's said something. the he uh, dropped a hard R during the middle of a national NASCAR race, like a simulated one. Uh, a simulated one? Yeah. So that's what they're doing in NASCAR now. Jeez, that's gonna like somehow stick around a little bit as well, you know? I mean, I. I it's yeah, it's then that's what's so weird about all this is like, I wonder at the end of the day, what effect this is going to have on even like the permanent restaurant industry uh-huh. and fucking sports and just gatherings like large ass gatherings. <laughs> It'll probably go back to normal eventually, but I don't know. It might not be anytime soon. Because I'm like, the reality is like, it's like it really is just like the flu like basically the flu is yeah. going around mm-hmm. yeah like and it's just like real it's really contagious and the whole the bump was so much that everyone you know had to has to go inside because everyone was getting it all at once but you know if it's spread out and you're prepared for it it really isn't yeah. like that bad or anything yeah yeah exactly that's really what it comes down to it's just as long as it's spread mhm i mean but, isn't it that bad though i mean it's not like fucking spanish flu bad but it's definitely worse than most i mean like, yeah like how how can you even really stop it like in a weird way no that and that and that's the weird thing about it though it's like, like that's what i'm saying like, it just will come back like even if you have to almost get it to be like they just urge you to like find a vaccine or something that's no it. south korea is reporting you can get it twice oh yeah I'm, i mean i'm sure you can i would i, would, I bet your chances are twice though that is true. It's probably super fucking low. I have no idea. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, I mean, the reality is like, there's. I'm looking at the Yahoo thing right now. There's 32,000 people that have died in the U.S. 
that's just not so, like uh, yeah i get that you look at it you think oh that's a big number but it's like that is like not a lot yeah that's what that's, that's what like i was i know a you know, week of car car accidents sorry what yeah, yeah. i i hear what you're saying cooper yeah no dude i think thirty two thousand people is like a lot I don't, I don't think so not percentage wise if you, it's if you look not at yeah but i don't but i think compared it's proportionally to typical percentages i think it is a lot you know what i, I mean so, dude. like I, mean, I think i think if it, it wasn't as more. deadly it would be more of kind of like a swine flu situation where people aren't really taking it seriously but like keep in mind those are the percentages with like the most strict quarantine lockdowns for like three months of time like it definitely could be higher like we've never no one's ever done this before yeah so like yeah. taking that's the what real that's what I is are just like it wouldn't be accurate stacked against like so yeah okay the flu kills however like a hundred thousand people every year or whatever in the u.s but we don't yeah. fucking social distance to yeah, stop yeah. the flu yeah yeah I, I i hear what you're saying like i don't know it feels like uh, it's it's just so weird because when i think about it and when they were like yeah on 9 11 like a thousand people died i'm like ah fuck man this is like 32 9 11s granted yeah, with but... mostly elderly people and yeah. not in a crazy awful national tragedy it's just weird because i know how much everything changed after that yeah but i would say like that it's just it's almost like yeah you definitely need to do like the social distance distancing and stuff to For slow sure. it down mm -hmm. but it still thirty thousand like that many so far truthfully that is like just not that many objectively like if that's, but no like, i mean no like, it's no actually, holocaust you know it's I'm not, not saying six that million like, that means you shouldn't do it i'm just saying like that's like statistically not that even like mm -hmm. that big of a bump in the curve mm -hmm. Yeah, I see how it could be though. Yeah, you know but I'm just yeah. saying, like, right, as of right now, then that's. that's just and on top of that, it's like at risk individuals. It's like, yeah, it, exactly. It's like you and I, like, I would be confident that I would have either already been in contact with it or would already test positive and just like show no symptoms. Like, wait, like, hang on. I'm hang sure on. that we all, you know, I know that we all are fine. Like, Jake, Jake are, are you playing Far Cry? Happen. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm trying to play it, but it froze my computer. But I don't want to turn it off though, because we're talking. All right, word. I was about to say, I was like, "What?" <laughs> but no. Um, I just think that certain things are gonna be like super duper changed in the future, like just precautionary. Like even if it's something weirdly simple, like all cashiers have plexiglass in front of them now, like uh -huh. just for standard booths. Kind of right. like sneeze guards or stuff like that. Yeah. Cause yeah. like think about like and and then also like the weird thing is like people as like and everyone's talking about this too, and not to get too Joe Rogany, but like we're we're really cool all of a sudden with a lot of personal rights and liberties being taken away. You know yeah. what I mean? That's Very I mean. cool with it. And people are like and normally when you let those slips happen, like even going as far back to like when like Abraham Lincoln had to suspend habeas corpus and like how he extended the union during then, like yeah. national tragedies always increase like crazy power. Yeah, and like, I could totally like see like hyper, you now, like don't have privacy for your health records and shit like that. Like where it's like, Oh, if you get found out you have an infectious disease, like you're, you get marked and like put on a list. For sure. <laughs> right? I mean, it makes sense, too. That's the weird problem. Yeah. yeah. That's why Korea is so good at this. Why? Because they just have way more control. Like, they're already there. Oh, right. Like, if you told people, like, hey, the government's going to totally track your phone and you got to be cool with it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They can like, the U.S. would never. There'd be revolts. Uh -huh. But now we're slipping closer. Just crazy. And then Biden's going to be president. Won't that be fun? And then he'll stroke out and leave whatever poor bastards behind him. Is he going to is he is he going to win? Oh, no, I don't think not so, at all. Dude. Not. Yeah, at all. I was going to no say way. I think Trump's going to win. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way Biden's win. 
Yeah. Yeah. Trump's just going to crush him in the debate, just like any, all the other guys. She's yeah, going to make fun of him. And Biden's so not going to know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. It's like, so weird. It's funny. funny. That's like, the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we like, matter, but. And that's what he's talking about in his press conference. He's like, hey, fucking, um, I have the best ratings of all time. Like, more people are watching me than any other fucking thing. I'm like, yeah, it's because you're yelling at reporters and shit, and it's fucking funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that is the problem. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I'm kinda, I kind of kind of love it when he says Kung Flu like eight times. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just a reality TV show is all I it know. is. And I hate that I like it. Yeah. I, I everyone that likes I like it. it. Yeah, that it's aspect different. is entertaining. That's what yeah, it is. You it don't is like it, but it's entertaining. Yeah. yeah it gets you tiger to pay King, attention. Man. Yeah, dude. Tiger King. You guys finish it? Yeah. Yeah, man. That was great, yeah. man. So I wanna good, right? I wanna watch more. Yeah, I wanna see what happens next. Like Dude, what what's crazy is, I mean they did do a shitty follow up episode where like oh, they interview that. people like during quarantine. It's so bad. Where they're like they're just having video talks. With oh, like, where the are they now? But no, um, dude, I saw an, the, uh, oh. the amount of people that are fucking defending Carol Baskin as like someone who's better than running a private zoo, like, is crazy to me. They're all just bad people. Um, yeah, I think Carol Baskin's at least her cause is a little bit better than the other guys, and that she's not breeding them. She's not yeah. creating the problem. She is kind of, although she's not really. The thing is that thing is that she would breed them if she couldn't just find enough. Right. You know she's still saying? benefiting from the problem. Yeah, exactly. She still yeah. like, likes the tigers. Clearly. I mean, yeah. it would be different if her zoo was nonprofit is what I would say. Right. Sure. Right. right. And that the fact that it's like $200 a ticket and shit and there's still, still cages. Yeah. Yeah, it's still like, like the same thing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's crazy. Well, and then also the fact that she very clearly killed her husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know. I think what happened, honestly, is her husband just left and she was in on it. And I don't. Like, I I think he was most, if I had to guess, most likely killed by like a car. Or, or yeah, or something like that. Because Dude, like, he was he a was drug, runner. drug runner. Yeah, he was yeah, clearly, yeah. A, clearly a drug runner. So he might have just disappeared to Costa Rica and didn't want to like get in any trouble, you know, or some shit. Mm-hmm. Nah, because he, he would have like, got hey, the and, money. Like, and he was like, hey, Carol, like you can have whatever the fuck. Like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like been burying money in his backyard. He's got a plane. He that is a good. Costa Rica, and he just leaves. He's like old. He's like 60 or 70 or whatever. He's just like, all right, I'm dead. Bye. And just like mm-hmm. leaves. Maybe, maybe that's what happened. And she's kind of in on it. You know what I'm saying? But that is she a good didn't really point. Kill him. Like, it's the will that thing could, that, that could be true. Me out. Yeah, but like, if that, if this is, it's just a theory, obviously. But if, it, if like they're both in on it, then that's fine too. You know, he's like, whatever, yeah. just change the will. I don't, I don't care. And he just fucked his that's other family so hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were not happy with that. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> true. That doesn't, that doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> no, like her biological <laughs> daughter just left him with nothing. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after picking up like a 16 year old prostitute like so bad <laughs> oh. Fuck, it's gonna be hard you... to find a better documentary than that though no it's yeah, yeah. Entertaining. nothing that was good as man. engaging yeah the um uh, so now you just have to love Joe Exotic, which is the weirdest part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Joe Exotic's the best. I like him the whole time. I want time. Trump I like to him. pardon him. Yeah. Just because. <laughs> Did you see him answer the question about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was said. so funny. He was like, he one of the reporter was like, uh, Trump, one of your sons recently tweeted that he was going to ask you to pardon Joe Exotic from the Tiger King <laughs> series. And Trump goes... Oh, which one was it? Which one was it? And he's like, was it Don? I think it was Don. Was it Don? And the guy's like, it was Don. He's like, oh, yeah, that's Don. <laughs> crazy kids getting me into so much trouble these days. I thought that was he, funny. It's so funny. And then he goes to the reporter and he goes, what do you think I should do? You think I should pardon him? Where do you <laughs> sign? And, like, and the reporter's like, you can tell he so badly wants to be like, yeah. Dive yeah. into it and tell Trump everything. And he's like, well, you know, here's what I thought about Tiger King. Because like, yeah. <laughs> when you get to talk with the president about a documentary about tigers and shit, you'll take the he was just like no. He was just like, I can't say like 
I, I, I have to remain neutral. Like, and he's like, yeah, 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 me too, man. And I'm like, <laughs> it's just. It was like the most real moment, actually, I've ever so seen. So real. That's pretty. That's a good way to handle it, though. Really. No, it's the best way to handle it. <laughs> that's always the problem. Like, <laughs> which one of that guys is what, my son Don? Yeah, like, it was a Don. Don <laughs> instantly knows. And the worst uh, part is, like, Don's named after him, so you know he's just like a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Still hope he gets uh, pardoned. Jeff Lowe didn't ask me anything and got roasted right. yeah, on reddit on you saw that yeah, <laughs> yeah. everybody Every... just like he didn't answer any of the questions as far as i could tell yeah yeah that guy was definitely a piece of shit yeah no yeah and some of them were very, like very clearly staged questions like right he's just absolutely capitalizing on it oh um, one thing i loved uh was i went back and i uh i watched this youtube video from another podcast where they go over steven seagal movies and guys, I gotta say, you guys need to watch this movie, Sniper Behind Enemy Lines. That is, it's about, it's an hour and 30 minutes long, but it actually feels like it's maybe 20 minutes long just because so little happens in it. And it has Steven Seagal and a bunch of old retired wrestlers. And it's just probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life in like a very <laughs> serious way. Like, it's not, like, even so bad. It's funny. It's, like, just bad. And, like, in all the scenes, like, Steven Seagal is always sitting down because he just doesn't want to fucking stand. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, it's just, it's so bad. And I very much encourage you to watch it. Is What's it on Netflix? It's on Netflix. It's called <laughs> Sniper Behind Enemy. <laughs> Wait, okay. is it called, is, is it Netflix? Is it Sniper or Special Forces? Sniper Special Ops? Yeah. Since sniper yeah. special ops <laughs> yes it's just it's just a good laugh it's a it's a great laugh full of gags and giggles for everybody involved <laughs> except for steven seagal who's taking it very very seriously <laughs> the first the, the, the one the first review is the first scene looked quite promising but after that it's so bad it's horrible <laughs> <laughs> sniper rifles only used during the first scene <laughs> <laughs> it's just little shit like that that you'll be like wait they've been in this one setting for like three days like they only had you can tell they only had like maybe two sets and they just shot like every conversation between like two people like whenever it had to be like outside in the afghanistan region they would just always put it in like this one scene that you can it's like three hours later in the movie like time wise and they're still like exactly where they were standing just fucking like 10 seconds ago. Like it's <laughs> so bad, but it's fun to watch. And that's what matters, I think. <laughs> All right. Okay. All, right. All right. And that, in that note, let's play the outro. Wait, hold on. What are we doing for next? Week? Um, so yeah, we're, we're drawing, right? Um, are we drawing? Yes. Yeah. We're drawing one of the hobbits. Which hobbits do you get to pick? I'll let you guys pick first. Uh, I want to draw Sam. That's an obvious pick. Yeah, I mean, clearly I don't want to draw Merry or Pippin, so I got to go with Frodo. <laughs> Here, here's where I'm gonna gonna drop one on you guys. You gonna go with Bilbo or someone? I don't know. I'm gonna go with Fatty Bulger. <laughs> <laughs> the fifth member who was left behind at the house. No, it can only be a hobbit. It has to be a hobbit. It has to be a hobbit. I mean, we, we agreed, hobbits. <laughs> what do you yeah, think? Right. Come on. I mean, Bilbo's not a bad choice. All things said and done. Also, I the new Capone movie. Oh, Jacob coming up with a curveball, man. What do you say? I'm drawing Gollum. No, I dude, I thought about that earlier, but I, I was like, that's out of the... What? That's well, that the, is a hobbit. Oh, uh, no, he's... Uh. Yeah, Coop, I think you just got got, man. <laughs> yeah, he is a hobbit. That's the problem. Fuck. Yeah, take that. It's too bad, man. That's too bad. You can have Sam if you want. He wasn't nearly as good, though. Yeah, I'll t I guess I'll take Sam over Frodo. Yeah, I mean, one definitely, right? Yeah, I mean, Sam's at least fat. <laughs> That's kind of... Dude, mm -hmm. I can't wait to draw Fatty Bulger, man. Ah, 
That's such a good one. You know it. That's going to get up votes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to see that. All right, boys. Let's play this outro. All right. Granny? Mm. Elijah Hood here for the XFL Wildcats. And I'm a big Why You Fools podcast fan. So, you know, <laughs> I know they was looking for Elijah Wood, but they found me. Keep searching for that one true ring and rock on. <laughs> it's just perfect. It's so great. I know. <laughs> See you guys. Right. See ya. All right. Later. Wait, I didn't speak out. Craig. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this is all recording. Oh, God.